Hi, my name is Dr. Stone. Uh, I'm here with a pretty interesting case that we had coming to the hospital yesterday. This is Ollie. He's about a nine-year-old male intact Sheltie uh, who presented with a uh, four-day history of ascending paralysis starting in the hind limbs. He had a very thorough workup at the regular vet trying to find what might be wrong with him, but uh, uh, normal blood work and x-rays uh, showed no significant findings. Um, he presented to us uh, a very ill, having not eaten for almost four days, and he had not been uh, urinating or defecating either. Um, the concern was uh, f very real with this dog, and the owners were actually contemplating euthanasia at that time. Um, when we were uh, going over the dog, we actually found a tick on the back of his neck, and he also had a history of recently going on a hunting trip. Uh, about a week before um, he had actually uh, started with these clinical signs of weakness in the hind end. Um, we found the tick on, on the back of his neck and uh, there was lots of fecal material from the tick there. It had obviously been there for some time. We were able to pull the tick off and after talking to the owners about possible tick paralysis, um, we decided to uh, keep going with this guy and see what happened uh, over the next few days. Tick paralysis occurs when um, the saliva secreted by the tick into the body of the dog um, affects their, neuro, uh, uh, their neurologic system and can actually um, cause paralysis in these cases. Um, mostly certain species of, of, of ticks are uh, to blame. But when we see this disease happen, removing the tick is completely curative. Um, we need to make sure that no other, uh, no other ticks were on uh, Ollie here, so we did give him a nice thorough shave job and weren't, did not find any more ticks on him, and he actually made a fairly miraculous recovery overnight. Um, in just, uh, just over 12 hours, he went from being completely non-ambulatory and paralyzed to actually being able to walk. Um, he began eating and urinating and defecating completely normally. So uh, we're really happy for Ollie, happy to see that he's uh, showing some improvement and uh, we'll uh, hopefully won't see any issues down the line.